So the first attribute we will look at is the AS path. And very simply, this is the sequence of autonomous systems a route has traversed. So it's a little bit like your airline baggage tag, but maybe in reverse. Normally when you check in at the airport, you get a baggage tag which lists the airports that your suitcase is going to transit, and hopefully it actually matches your itinerary. With the AS path, it actually lists the autonomous systems that this route has traversed to reach you. So it tells you where the prefix has originated and all the intermediate autonomous systems the prefix has traversed. This is extremely useful for policy. You may have a policy, as we'll see later on, which says, I don't want this prefix that's come through this particular autonomous system. Or I may want to increase the priority if the prefix has gone through that autonomous system. Or I may want to reduce the priority, and so on. You can make a lot of policy decisions based simply on the path that the prefix has taken to reach you. It's a mandatory attribute and it's transitive. So the AS must be set and it must be passed on as the prefix traverses autonomous systems in the internet. It's used for loop detection, which I'll show you next, and for applying policies in BGP, like those I've just described. And the graphic shows um, a group of autonomous systems connected together. AS100, for example, is originating 180.10/16, and it's announcing that prefix through AS200, which then passes it to 300, which then passes it to AS400. And if we take a look on a router in AS400, we look at the 180.10/16, and we see this 300, 200, 100 appearing. And that's the AS path, the list of autonomous systems the prefix has traversed. We don't see our own AS there, right? We are at AS400. We don't see that because we've heard it from 300, which has heard it from 200, which has heard it from 100. So I've also introduced a slide showing the AS path with a mix of 16 and 32-bit AS numbers. Now, as we've already seen, the internet is using 32-bit AS numbers and has been for probably the last eight or nine years. But there's still some old network equipment being used by some network operators which do not support these newer 32-bit AS numbers. And so what this graphic shows you is how the 32-bit AS numbers would appear in the AS path on an old router. So if we take our previous example and upgrade a couple of the AS numbers to 32-bit range, I've got AS70,000 now originating 180.10-16 and announcing that prefix to AS80,000, which then passes on to AS300. And then we go back to our vantage point in AS400 to see what we see. We've now got 180.10-16 with an AS path of 300, 23456, 23456. As you've already learned, AS23456 is a special autonomous system that was reserved for the transition from 16-bit to 32-bit AS numbers. So why the 23456 here? Well, AS400 routers don't support 32-bit AS numbers. And because they don't support 32-bit AS numbers, they can't handle numbers bigger than 65535 for the ASN. So we have to represent them some other way. But then you probably wonder, how does the router know that these are 32-bit AS numbers and to use 23456? Well, the clever piece is in the transition. Assuming AS300 is also um, only supporting 16-bit AS numbers, when AS300 sets up the BGP session with its neighbor in AS80,000, what actually happens is it's back to the capability negotiation at the start. Because AS300 can't set up BGP neighbor in 80,000, because 80,000 is bigger than 65535. So what the operator has to do instead is use the transition AS. He sets up his neighbor with 23456. Now AS80,000 sets up the normal BGP peering. BGP neighbor AS300. It then gets, as well as it's bringing up the BGP session, it asks, dear neighbor, do you support the extended AS numbers, the 32-bit AS range?
Of course, the router in AS300 is an old router, doesn't understand the question, and so gives a don't understand answer back. That way, the router in AS80000 sees that its neighbor doesn't support 32-bit AS numbers and, set, and then sets up the BGP session to peer with AS23456 instead. So that when the session is initiated, when AS300 says, hello, AS23456, AS80000 router actually knows to set up the BGP session with them. And because it knows that its neighbor cannot handle 32-bit AS numbers, it puts the 32-bit AS numbers in a new attribute called the AS4 path, which stores the 32-bit AS numbers. And in the AS path, which it sends to AS300, it puts 23456 in instead. So by the time this AS path gets to AS400, we see the AS23456s standing in for the 32-bit AS numbers. Now, it gets even more interesting if we look at AS90000. Now, AS90000 has the 16-bit supporting router or network sitting in between. So we've removed the 32-bit AS numbers from AS path. We've created this new AS4 path attribute to carry 32-bit AS numbers. What happens when we get to AS90000? Well, AS90000 has the same conversation when it talks to the routers in AS300. It realizes, ah, those ones don't understand 32-bit AS numbers. What it gets from its neighbor is an AS path with 23456s in them. It then takes this AS4 path attribute the 32-bit AS numbers come out of that and take the place of AS23456. So again, when we look on any of the routers in AS90000, we see 180.10 slash 16 with AS path 300, 80,000, 70,000. In other words, the, third, the full AS path has been restored. Right. So whichever vantage point we take, AS90000 or AS400, the AS path length is exactly the same. Now, in normal operation um, on routers that support 32-bit AS numbers, you should never, ever see AS23456 in the path. If you do, it's a configuration error. And it's usually caused by operators who don't understand what AS23456 is for. No network ever runs in AS23456. It's only ever used on old routers when you're peering with routers that support 32-bit ASNs. Now, eight, nine years ago, when 32-bit AS numbers were first being deployed, this caused quite a bit of concern within the operator industry, especially with the AS4 path, whether BGP implementations would actually transport this new attribute across the network. It was quite interesting. We actually had deployed several 32-bit ASN speaking routers across the internet before it was even made aware that we were doing this, and they were working just fine. One thing to note about BGP is that if there's an unknown attribute received, the specification requires that this unknown attribute is passed along to the next BGP speaker. So it was quite interesting to note that almost all the BGP implementations at the time were transporting unknown attributes without any impact on the network. The final part of the AS path is this loop detection capability. Of course, the internet is not a, just a long string of autonomous systems. The internet is highly interconnected, highly meshed. What we don't want to have happen is a prefix being originated by one autonomous system and then finding its way back to that autonomous system that originated it. You could end up with a BGP announcement loop. Um, where a prefix announcement ends up going round and round and round due to some error in BGP path selection or some implementation error or even just some um, simple policy. If you look at the diagram, AS100 is originating 180.10 slash 16, sending it to 200, to 300, through to 500. Now, the routers in AS500 will still announce that prefix onwards back to AS100 because they're connected to it. What will happen in AS100 is that it will spot this prefix, but with its 
own AS in the AS path. Now, of course, the router is not going to know if this is a configuration error or just a feature of how the networks are all interconnected. But what we don't want to happen is for the router to accept a prefix from outside its autonomous system that has its own autonomous system number in the path. And so the router will drop this prefix, and so the actual received prefixes at AS100, as it shows in the diagram, will just be the other two prefixes we sent on this announcement. So this is the loop detection in action. And it's very useful across the network and also has a little caveat, as we'll see later on, when we start looking at some of the other BGP attributes as well.